Hi. So please introduce yourself. So we are all. My name is Memory Yamato. I'm chief business officer at All Inc. We develop something called a personalized AI clone. So the definition is it's a digital mirror of yourself. It looks exactly like you, thinks in your own way, and talks in your own voice. So um, I would like to show you some dem demonstration video here. So this is clone to clone conversation. Meaning we didn't clone to clone. Yes. We didn't give them any script. The left hand side is a CEO of our company and right hand side is a clone of an engineer. They are discussing with each other about uh, the company's problem and eventually they found a solution for our company. So this is possible after nine years of uh, research and development of our so, company. So uh, what I'm looking at is a digital clones. They're not actually talking, but they're based on their real face, they're based on a way of thinking, they're based on where talking. Is that what it is? Or is it real yeah, people? They are actually, no, no, they are not human. They are clone, all made by ourselves. So they're not like video of human talking, but they are actually talking, yes, and discussing with each other. Uh, that's kind of like mind blowing. Yeah, just like the. I've been waiting for. Oh, uh, you know, like the Google. Uh, the Google. What do you call it? The uh, Siri. Uh, you call it, yeah, the Hey Google. Yes, Google yes, Home. yes. And I think it's cool, but I don't like saying Hey Google. Exactly. I want to say Hey John. Exactly. Or it could be. So the, you know, the, like yes, a family member. Yes. And then you would be able to record them and make them alive in the way they think and exactly. with their voice. Exactly, yes. You, you, yes. So the difference between chat GDP or iPhone Siri is that when you ask iPhone or chat GDP, what is the best restaurant in Barcelona? Then your iPhone returns the result of a Google search or a universal answer. But if I ask the same question to your clone, your clone will give me your answer based on your memory or your preference. I visited this restaurant yesterday. It was very nice and gorgeous seafood you know, beside the sea. So uh, that is one of uh, uh, the, the features of our digital. Another feature is the concept is an eternal life. So do you know the movie Avatar? So that the world where you know your uh, record of life, your spirit, your brain is recorded in a tip or a disc, and a national agent or like a man in black put your disc into an uh, avatar robot and you're reborn. That world is already possible with our AI clone. So you get an eternal life. You can live forever digitally, and you can leave your uh, clone when you die to your descendants, and your descendants can talk interactively with your clone a hundred years later. It works. Yes, and it's ready to sell in the market after nine years of research and development. What data you need yes. to create a, cl a clone? We would like to ask three types of data from our clients. One is voice data. You don't need to upload anything. You, you can just talk uh, to our website. The second is your video, uh, about 15 minutes. And the third one is your conversation data. The fastest way to send us your conversation data is to download your WhatsApp uh, conversation. But you have your 100% description and ownership on your uh, information, personal information. So it's 100% encrypted and stored in Web3 decentralized way, so we assure hyper security and privacy. But more than that, you have the ownership, meaning you can decide to what extent and scope of information you want to share with us. Like you want to share with us your conversation data with your family or with a friend, but not probably on business, you know. Uh, here I have a comment that says, your clone will have a data set of your life, which it will be trained with, so it will think like you do. Exactly. That's and, correct. Yes, and they, they will talk in your own way. Uh, I'd like to give you my access to my Gmail. Does that help you? Exactly. If you can read all my Gmail, you will yes. also learn how I think. If you give us uh, yeah, your consent. Some people who sadly are not here anymore, but we have photos, exactly. we have maybe voice recordings. Yes. 
and we have their Gmail account. Exactly. And maybe based on some video recording, it will learn how the person is thinking. Yes, exactly. Maybe it will even make jokes in the same way. Yes, yes. So we can create AI clone of somebody who already passed away. So think about an example, an old lady left alone at home, suffering from dementia. Her husband has passed away several years ago. But we could provide her husband clone to her based on the, the album and the video. And if there is no record of voice, we could also uh, hire a voice uh, voiceover actor to replace the voice. And we can give the clone to her so that she can ask her husband, do you remember the day we met or a wedding ceremony? I'll her life. She can talk to her. Yeah. And uh, just I'll try to turn because there's a lot of sound over there. Okay. Uh, but you say it's working? Yes, exactly. Is it only on your platform, on your website? It's or a are you able to code. use this? It's an API. Can you create a smart speaker with a little head that's animated, maybe even in the future, yes. uh, as a video, basically, on the TV? So we have uh, provided uh, several clones to Japanese celebrities and it was shown in a TV show in a screen. Another example is there is a 3D hologram of the AI clone of a Japanese uh, neuroscience, very famous person, and it was displayed in National Museum. So we could provide in, uh, in both ways. So it's a digital, so uh, the point is uh, it, we can save it forever in web three system. Are you already very famous? Many people know about your technology, or are you just a startup? Yes, uh, so we are a mature startup, but we have already released uh, several products in Japan. So one of the leading products, our meeting recording system, has been used by more than 5,000 companies just two years after release, and we are quite established as a startup, uh, close to listing. But this AI clone is exactly the reason we were founded nine years ago, and we have kept uh, development for nine years, one shot, and we'll keep it uh, to the future, so there are more affection to be placed in the AI clone. So, however, for the market, on the marketing point of view, we kind of intentionally uh, kind of hide it, uh, I haven't really uh, published it yet, so this event is the very first time we appear in public and actively speaking about this product. Because when I look at your video chat here, yes. It's uh, it's amazing. Thank you. Uh, I, I trust you. I, I trust that you're telling me the truth. But this is your clones talking to each other because it looks totally like the original person. It looks like it's the original person. I don't know them personally, but I want to see my father. I want to speak with him. Exactly. exactly. And he's, awesome. he's not been here for 10 years. Exactly. But it would be amazing because I have some recordings. And uh, if you can take that and, and basically push a button and suddenly he's kind of like alive, yes. that's completely crazy. Yes. And that will change, maybe it will change uh, humanity and feelings people have. Uh, it will cure depression for many people. Because it's sad when they, they cannot speak with someone anymore, but maybe they could kind of like have a feeling how they are like. Exactly. You can talk to uh, your father, your grandfather, even after they die. And even for somebody alive, for example, I kind of, I confess that I ignore a lot of WhatsApp messages from my mother during this trip. But if there is a daughter's clone for her, she can communicate her clone, uh, talking in all the time. So she won't be lonely alone at home. That's the idea. So if uh, somebody decides to start COVID again yes. and they say that now you have to go on Zoom again, yes. you cannot trust who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> you might be speaking with the uh, AI. Exactly, yes. So I would say the quality of our AI clone, uh, the, the visual is 90.5% close to the real person. So um, there are a couple of examples I could show you, like the ones you see in TV show. But for these people, they they have the real model, uh, like behind these clones, and uh, we can't like uh, 
Chen. Um, you can say which is the real person to be in, which is clone. That's how accurate uh, the quality of our clone is. And also it's, a, it's called a Turing test, right? <laughs> yes. You pass it. Yes. <laughs> and if you ask most people, they have no idea if it's real or not. Is yes. that true? Yes. So something we are discussing. That's all you need to do. Yes. If you can so, pass this, yes. success. Yes. Now, one thing I'm afraid to ask, is it very, very expensive service or right is it now, affordable and okay. it should be for everybody? Yes, it, it, it should be for everybody. That the ultimate goal of our company to distribute, to discount to all human beings because um, the goal is we can focus more on innovation or artwork or time with family while your clone supports your routine work. Um, please re be reminded that uh, there are a lot of conspiration series and uh, Netflix dramas, you know, the, the end is strategy with uh, Avatar clone, but it's not our goal. Upload, I like upload on yes. uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. The goal is to support human life so that we can focus more on our, uh, our hobby. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how good your product is. I need to see it, like I understand and see somebody I know and have an idea if it really feels the same. Does it work in every language? Exactly, exactly, yes. We, we can cover 35 languages. Uh, we do cover uh, 35 languages in our existing products, like meeting recording system. So we are very good in translation. Actually, we have uh, produced a couple of products in the market, including AI translator. So uh, the, this translation is uh, actually... Uh, where, what, what you can do it in real time? Yes. If somebody speaks yes. Japanese... Exactly. Uh, on one side, yes. you can make them speak English to me? Yes, exactly. On the Zoom call? Exactly. Yes, that's uh, what we do as a service as well. So there is a service called AI translator here. So if I show it... Um, it's very hard to uh, get the sound here, but there is another product called AI Translator. And um, the, the, the idea is that on a Zoom call, when you push the button by English or Spanish or French or whatever, uh, this will uh, this system will make you trans uh, automatically translate to your speaking to that language. Um, so uh, then it, it appears in a second. With your voice? Well, with your voice, uh, yes, uh, yeah, it could be with your voice, but uh, there, at the moment, uh, with uh, with a recorded voice, to be honest, yeah. With a, what's it called, a, a speech to text standard. Exactly, voice. exactly, yes. In so, the future, you yeah. could have your voice speak Japanese, Chinese, anything. Yes. So, like, there are buttons, uh, so English and Spanish, so this man is speaking in different languages now. Very big, um, like a GPU cloud system to do it in the cloud, or where do you process all this? Okay, yes. Or just in your app somewhere? Yes. So uh, we have a system called uh, Stack, and this is a very interesting system. So uh, it's like a, a Web3 system where we don't have to uh, store client information in our own storage, but it's like uh, it diversified. Uh, so your information is first encrypted and will be stored in decentralized way. So it's not in our hands, like not like we get your information and control by our company. So 100%. It's not sold to the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Somebody? Yeah. Not yet. But somebody told me that it's going to be a billion business as a standalone service, and um, somebody from uh, United States told me so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we don't work with Amazon uh, uh, web services it's uh, not for us. AWS. It's no. not Google Cloud. No. Uh, it's not Azure. No. And it's so not where even. Is it? So it's decentralized. It's a web three. So your information is broken down into pieces, encrypted. Stored in somewhere on ours, I would say. Decentralized. Decentralized, yes. Uh, so it could be a bunch of uh, dedicated servers, different places. Exactly. So or even your private dedicated server. Exactly. Yes. So I know that there is a strong uh, regulation uh, in place in Europe on personal information. However, I believe that this is one of the breakthrough through that regulation. Are you the CEO? No, I, I, no I'm chief business officer, responsible chief for what, a, sorry? business officer, business responsible officer. for AI com business. So what's the business? Yes. What uh, what business are you going to be doing? Partnerships? You're yes. going to work together with the hardware 
companies who will maybe make okay. so uh, like a screen that's perfect to show a face on or something. Okay, we do everything. Even like making apps, uh, we can do everything by ourselves, technology-wise. But for distribution, uh, we we would uh, look for our partners in distributing this product in Europe to individuals or to corporations. So we are open to any partnership now. Can I see more on your presentation? Yes. What more you talk about in the presentation? Okay. Why do you do this presentation so far? Here at the show only? Or why do you show this? Uh, you launch it uh, on big stage over there? Yes, just one time I uh, showed this uh, over there, but I, I don't, otherwise, you know, we just started marketing this product. So it, it hasn't been on YouTube, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is the first time, okay. actually. Thank you. So, yes, this is the image of uh, our personalized AA clone, but this is like an animated version, but, you know, we do make the, the real version of human being. Uh, this is the... the um, prediction by a famous uh, university professor professor from Tokyo. He predicts that this personal AI agent, PAIA, will be uh, the, the strongest use case in AI industry. So, you know, there is a lot of attention on AI industry at the moment, uh, but this is going to be the most uh, uh, strongest scenario, and it takes about 20% of GDP, so there is strong growth uh, expected in, uh, for this market. And our theory and our philosophy is very close to his idea that humans are originally made to be lady, lazy, so we will eventually depend on the personal AI agent. And in our definition, it's a personalized AI clone. So, so you can use your clone to think for you. Exactly, exactly. So, and the, the, the definition is, as it says, it's a digital mirror of yourself. But I would like to highlight it's not a robot, it's not an avatar. It's your living self. So uh, one of the social contests we can provide is that it will definitely raise for social productivity because AI clone can uh, eventually take on some of your routine tasks and we will deploy those functions uh, towards the future. And another important concept is you can live forever digitally. So you can even talk to your grandmother up in heaven uh, even after she dies or in other ways you can live your uh, record of life, your spirit in your uh, personalized AI clone. And when you die, you can, your descendants can talk to you a hundred years later, a thousand years later. So this is a promotion video we provide, but uh, it's on YouTube actually. So uh, the, the word is that, um, well, we made this video several years ago, so apologies that this uh, iPhone is a bit uh, outdated. But the idea is that there are two couples in, uh, shown in this video, and both of them are very like sleepy and enjoying themselves, while their clone can support their uh, work um, at home. So let me stop this video for a while, and this is a clone-to-clone -clone conversation demonstrating that, you know, uh, they can talk to each other, and apart from uh, our eyes, and uh, but uh, well, uh, I would like to add that we uh, under our governance, so uh, there is no um, like risk that you know they uh, they do, do things uh, you know uh, against a human being, but you know our technology as a demonstration, our uh, technology has come to the stage that you know, those clones, they're not humans in this video, they're clones. They can, uh, they can think in, in their owner's way and can communicate with, with each other. Okay. Um, so it's like this. And their voice is very close to the owner. Uh, so this is another clone, the video of our CEO. And uh, this is a brief uh, introduction of our technology. So we, we have this blockchain Web3 uh, system that supports a distribution of our AI clone and uh, data storage because to make just one clone for one person, we need a lot of personal information. So it is very important for us to uh, assure 100% privacy and security of that information, as well as to have the endless stretch so that we can make like a clone of for six billion people in this world. So you're using blockchain? Yes. Uh, is it still uh, effective, uh, efficient, reliable? Yeah, exactly. Even if it's blockchain, 
Exactly. Yes. So a person, the owner of the clone, will be uh, will be given a secret key to access their personal information, and that's the only way a person uh, can uh, have a look at the, the personal information. It's not in our hands. We leave the hundred percent ownership to the owner of the clone, clone who uh, give us personal information. But it's actually work. Yes. Exactly. So uh, the, the it's not something for the future. It's something. No. The system and it's ready to use. Yes. So uh, the information we get from the client will get encrypted and will be stored in decentralized way. So the, it will be broken into pieces in, in as an encrypted information and uh, it will be stored somewhere, broken into pieces. So nobody could read your information, even us. Uh, so, as a company introduction, we are old. We were founded for the very purpose of making this clone. So, this vision, vision, value. Uh, so, uh, to, our mission is to um, like make an eternal existence of human being and also um, release human being from uh, routine work, the labor, to to uh, let us focus on creative works, art, innovation, or uh, time with our family. So there are so many use cases of PAI, uh, the personal uh, AI clone. So you could use this for your business, for example, uh, like a, you, you can use this as a way to communicate with your employees. Uh, for example, if, if you have uh, the, the clone of yourself and you're CEO of your company, your employee can communicate with the clone, ask any questions like, uh, can you give me a raise or something like that? And sometimes it raises uh, the the, the, co uh, the communication inside your company because everybody will enjoy talking with you, clone. Uh, sometimes you know you, they can ask questions if, if they you know ask the real person. Sorry, I'm, am yeah. I talking too much? No, 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 no. You would use the AI in business. Yes. We, so we, you would like uh, let the AI do your work for you, and then you go have fun. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about, really? Yeah. So, uh, so to uh, do that officially, we need to work with lawyers or regulators to make, uh, like, for example, we need to sort out, you know, things like, you know, if AI uh, talks uh, in this way in public, you know. Uh, what is the legal effect of this remark? So we need to work with regulators and lawyers uh, that, that will uh, that will follow after we distribute our AI clone. But um, if if the, the owner of the clone give us you know, content, uh, consent at their discretion and risk, you could use your clone. Um, business. Uh, so, if you're, for example, the owner of the business, you know you can make your clone appear inside your company so that your employee can communicate with a clone, asking about the idea and how do you think about this business idea, or like, you know, will you give me a raise? Or something. That will be very fun and enhance communication and probably will lead to innovation inside your company. Or you could, uh, for example, like you know, make uh, you. So this is also possible that you know you're a YouTuber, but yeah. you, know, you could create your own clone for your your video, so that. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of this idea. Yeah. Because uh, while you're talking, I get the idea that you know, like I could publish a million videos. Yes. And get billions of views. <laughs> and all of those millions of videos is just based on my clone. Yeah. And it will be on every topic, in the whole planet. I'll be talking. And hopefully the clone can be a little bit smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> so and then it, it, will, uh, it will let me speak on everything simultaneously. Okay. So I could be talking on any topic. Yes. It's scary a little bit, but I love it. Uh, thank you. I want to see it. Can I try it? <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. To um, like give some control, what you can uh, do is that you, know, you can give your clone a script for each video and you can also uh, like um, like make kind of like arrange uh, the the video to be released at a certain time. So it's also it's already possible for you to use your phone as like an announcer for yourself uh, as a YouTuber. Uh, so Maybe uh, instead of recording videos, the best way is just to put my clone on my website. Yes. And you go speak with it about anything you want, right? That's the exactly. best way. Exactly. Yes. 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 A company. But. Or uh, I mean, if I just do a million videos, 
then I would need to update those videos as every time you update the AI to make it smarter and better because it's maybe constantly going to be uh, okay, developed. Yes, yeah, so like how to update your uh, your own clone? You can uh, you can give us your uh, like uh, information all the time through web, as a web service, and also you can talk to your uh, your clone directly so that your clone will get smarter through conversation, knowing about <laughs> you, so your daily life, you know your preferences, you know things that happen in every day. You can update your clone in that way too. So your presentation is amazing. Thank you. When can people click? Yes. on your website, yes. when they can start to get their clones, exactly. how much is the price, how does it work? Okay, so the, to be honest, the, the very standard minimum price to make one clone is 100,000 US dollars at the moment. Please uh, contact me at the memory Yamato, uh, memory uh, the Yamato at uh, all the AI. So I'll be responsible for all the, the customer services and Q&A. So uh, it's not that cheap right now? It's not that cheap at the moment, but because our goal is to distribute this clone to the world, I will consider eventually to uh, expand in our production. Uh, at the moment, we can uh, make up to a thousand clone a year. Uh, however, um, we will expand our operation so that the you know, price will go down. What does it take a thousand clone per year? What is the uh, limitation? Limitation. Um, so. Um, so we stick with the quality of individual clones. So your clone will be made one by one. It's not like an automated process because we really want to make your clone to be like a, as, as closer as, as yourself. And uh, there is uh, some artwork we need to do, like a, put like some like a soul into your clone. So it's really like a, to, to some extent handmade product moment. Yes, and we'll stick is, with our quality. Is there a chance that this will be automated? Yes. Is that the goal? It, it could, it's and not the shouldn't it be nearly $100 depends, or depends less? It depends on the, the demand. You know, if, if we are to make you know, 6 billion clone uh, and an update every year, I think it, it should be automated at some point in time. But the, the point is, at the moment, there are so many automated AI services, automated AI drawings, you know, animation. But uh, we would like to uh, to uh, uh, tell that the very concept of our phone it is uh, a, it is a very deep business, an eternal life, uh, a different concept of life and communication. So to tell you that we first want to make a very qualified phone and also be responsible for the security, privacy, and governance. And we need to communicate with regulator and, uh, and lawyers because it will give a, a, a huge impact to human society uh, in a irreversible way, I believe. Do you have your clone? No, not at the moment. Uh, we only have uh, the clone of our CEO, and uh, we really enjoy communicating with him so far. So he's, on a, he's always on the beach? <laughs> Maybe. Like, like, Maybe. Uh, like many CEOs are, but at least yes. he's got the clone yes. uh, available to you at all times. Yes. That Maybe. tells you, are you, did you do your work like this? Maybe. Maybe, yes. That, that's probably the, to the top secret of our company. <laughs> okay. Top secret. Uh, do you have some uh, English-speaking AI clones that people can interact with? Uh, yes. So far, um, I can show you with this yeah. video, but um, yeah. so I, I don't have any um, like English-speaking one. However, uh, there is a very interesting video that I can show you. So because uh, so actually the demonstration of the two clones were speaking English. Yes. Uh, uh, the one before. It was yeah, English. The, yes, it's English and also. So, so you were saying there's some videos people can watch. Yes. So for example, this is uh, our AI clone in 3D hologram. This is a uh, clone of very famous scientist in Japan, it, and it was displayed in National Museum. And another example is, uh, this is a clone of a very famous politician in Japan, and it was uh, uh, it was uh, broadcasted in a TV, 
and I want to show you that uh, uh, this is a uh, Prime Minister Kishida, current Prime Minister of Japan, appear in our TV and current Prime Minister. Yes, and he asked our digital clone, uh, the, the digital clone of another politician, uh, this question: Do you like me? And his clone, after thinking a little bit, responded, "I love you." <laughs> so. <laughs> So this is already possible and uh, was yeah it was shown in this video. So we have this demonstrated technology. There was nobody sitting behind writing in a keyboard. No. I say. No. 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 It was yes. just uh, your system. Exactly. So this is the real person sitting in front of Prime Minister actually. So and it, it, this is his clone. Cool. Yes. Uh, so that means you're already on TV in Japan. Yes. And any TV in other countries? Uh, no, during this event, uh, maybe the Australian TV. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Let's, let's put my my mic on this. Has this. been picked up okay. or not? Yeah. But That's I believe okay. uh, we haven't uh, been on uh, TV like since since then because we haven't done any marketing yet. All right, so this but this is it. But I want to see it, uh, you know, like um, for six billion people. Yes, thank you. And I want to be able to go on your website or something, on your app, download your app, and just say, "Add me." Yes. Because yes. um, two Teslas, it, it's hard. Okay. Yes. But I guess it's the beginning. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Do you think companies like Google, Amazon, somehow are? Also have it, but they're very afraid to launch it because so, they their lawyers maybe are saying, ah, be careful, yeah. don't get into that because people are gonna think that Google is evil, or yeah. they're gonna think that Amazon uh, or somebody you know like the EU jumps in and starts making regulation yeah. and saying, oh, we don't want because it's too it's too mind blowing, it's too. You know? So, like in Japan, I was uh, talking with uh, the Minister of uh, Economy, Commerce, Trade, uh, I forgot the, 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 the official name, and uh, the Minister, Mr. Nishimura, gave me uh, his support. Hey, Kun, it's interesting, why don't you do that? So, in Japan, at least I got a support from the, the highest politician. Um, nice. I don't know what GAFA is doing, but um, the, in Japan, we have this very unique religion originally that there are as many as 800 gods in uh, in Japan while you know there are in many countries there is only one god so the idea is we believe in personalized clone it's not like a one single answer that AI gives to the old humans it's your clone and it's your thought and it's your memory so in this way uh, unless you know we uh, we give clone too much technology to do things on behalf of human being or whatever. It, it is under control and it really supports uh, you and it can be a record maker of your life. That's our philosophy. Uh, nice. I got a few comments where people are saying, uh, can you clone the voice and behavior of the 10 years dead body in the grave? We already spoke about that, right? Uh, even if people died a long time ago, yes. maybe you'll be able to grab their photos, yes, grab exactly. their videos, exactly. grab the, the, the voice recordings, exactly. access their digital life. Yes, you can that's, create that's something out possible. of that. Yes. Maybe we can all, all also create a clone of Leonardo da Vinci or Napoleon, and that could be very fun. And asking us about what is your favorite food. And there's uh, somebody commenting, um, uh, there's a new pickup line and they would say, hey girl, I like you so much, I'd like to make an AI clone out of you. That's like uh, touching something weird. Thank you very <laughs> you much. You have to be careful with the limit, right? You don't want people to take you and, and uh, live with your clone without your permission. Oh yes, yes, yes. So uh, the, the production is uh, so from, from us, so uh, we will um, we will uh, try to give 100% control and uh, when we give secret key to this blockchain system, we'll make sure that you know, it comes from the real person. It's not like somebody like uh, you know doing things on behalf of others, the other person, yes. And you can select who in your family has access to your clone. Yes. You can say, exactly. you know, these people can check me out, yes. Yes. but I don't want my, I don't know, my stalkers. 
Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Something like that. Yes, yeah. This is actually a very good product for stalkers. So the idea is, um, well, I shouldn't have said that, but the idea is if, okay, there is a clone of Angelina Jolie, and if you're a big, huge fan of her, if there is a clone of her, uh, the idea is her clone can, uh, like, say your name, remembers a conversation with you, Someday we will probably do that, you know. Maybe she wants that because then yes. the, the stalkers will leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> they will just play with her, exactly. with her clone only. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, the, the, the clone of Angelina Jolie will remember uh, the conversation with you and, you know, so you, she can be like your girlfriend, you know, virtual girlfriend. And here's a comment uh, on America's Got Talent. Yes. Uh, somebody was using deep fake, deep fake uh, face and voice. Yes. And. Uh, there's a lot of talk of deep fakes right now and stuff like that, but uh, it's a fascinating future if you can actually use it positively. Yes, yes, thank you. So, like, uh, thinking about like a girlfriend boyfriend relationship, like uh, I'm saying, talking about the, the most casual way we're using it. So, like, I, I'm from Japan, but Japanese men seldom say "I love you" to his wife or girlfriend. But this can be a solution, you know. Your yeah. girlfriend. You can, can practice ask, with a clone. Exactly. Or your girlfriend can ask your clone, you know, "Do you love me a hundred times a day?" <laughs> <laughs> And if he says no once out of 100 times, yes. you know there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if you have some uh, idea, you can practice with the clone first yes. before you ask your wife. Exactly. You know, yeah. Like, uh, like when you, can, you, yeah, when you propose, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See the reaction first, and then uh, maybe you can tweak the clone so that, so she says yes. Yes. Who yes. knows? Yes. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. So looking forward to mass availability of this, but the first examples are going to be very interesting. And hopefully you can send me some links or something so I can post this Thank under the video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool.